very important because I'm you know, you're at the service of the Okay. For a minute. What? So um, yeah, we formed this place uh, in every field uh, is to create a permanent structure where we so it's more like uh, yeah. this is the this is extraordinary. Very few women at negotiation tables. Public funding for help. We need. So I think obviously I'm the first. And I am the co chair of the UHC 23rd. As it is in North. Um, I am the co chair of the UHC 23rd. We, as UHC 23rd, we have convened our STEAM friends to the about um, gender equality in this sphere, uh, I, I want to share some data and some numbers which speaks loud about themselves and unfortunately not in favor of uh, fairness and equality. Majority of our healthcare work, uh, workforce is women, like approximately two-thirds of our doctors are women, and 98% uh, of our nurses are women. Thanks to you, Hannah. Thank you for sharing these very important issues with us. And uh, allow me to extend a future invitation because, uh, as I mentioned during my opening remarks, next year there's going to be a high-level meeting at the United Nations precisely on universal health coverage. And one of the topics that we must include is precisely the health uh, and care workforce. We need to recognize those who are at the front line, saving our lives and fighting against the pandemic, but also against other diseases or, or health challenges. Uh, I think that your voice, your country's voice, could be very important because at a high level meeting, well, the audience is about heads of state. And if we change the mindset of those heads of state, then we can change the world. Let's say 98% of our book, Invisible Women, uh, that I was exposed to for the weekend remaining in my gift. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.